Hey everybody, hope you're enjoying uh, the conference today. And if you're here, you're wanting to learn more about Minecraft.edu and what better place to start than Minecraft.edu.com. If you are feeling a little more secure about things and you're just wanting to purchase, you can go here and go through the process of purchasing it. But if you want to learn a little bit more, you can go to resources and a great place to start is the wiki. The Minecraft.edu wiki is this page here where you can get certain questions like, well, what is this? And this compares, you know, the original version of Minecraft to EDU and what makes a difference to uh, getting started. And here you've got some great screencasts walking you through the installation steps and things like that um, and so forth. But once you're feeling pretty confident about purchasing it, you would go through and, you know, you, there is a uh, teacher server software that you would use and there's also a student software. Um, you purchase those and you purchase the license piece and the Minecraft EU wiki as far as getting started can walk you through those steps. But once you've purchased it, once you have a license and ready, um, the account will be emailed to you and you can log into your account. And once there, you'll be given this members area and this is where you can download Minecraft EU. Now, when it comes to different versions, if you have worked with Minecraft EU in the past, you likely already know about this, but this is one of the more stable versions that works with older worlds, beginning um, when it first started. This one is definitely the stable version of the Minecraft EU. It's, um, it's made changes uh, for uh, modifications in EDU that are, are um, ready for those kind of things. So I highly recommend starting this, especially if you're interested in the uh, world of humanities that studies the ancient civilizations. And once you download this, it'll take you to uh, this file here that will download and you just click on that file. And the file is the exact same for the student um, and the, the teacher pass or the licenses that you've purchased. So you don't need to worry about installing different things, but there is a difference. So once you've clicked on the file that you've downloaded, you click continue, you agree and then accept, and then here is where the big difference is. If this is gonna be the computer that's gonna host the server, and if you're not sure what that is yet, there's another screencast all about that server piece. Um, but if it's gonna be what the teacher's gonna control, then you would check that box. And if you want it to be a different location, you would check this, check with your computer, pair in the building to see if they have any recommendations. If there's not, you can just go with what they already have here. Click continue, it goes through the installation process fairly quickly. Click continue, and you can go through these options. I always go for the close installer open inst launcher, and this will open up the, um, the new window. Now, if this were just a student computer, the only difference when you clicked on this and you went through this process was here, you would not check that box. So hopefully this gives you some understanding as far as how to install it. But remember the wiki has a lot of great screencasts going through this process and getting started. So be sure to check with that. And then my only uh, recommendation is just going for the uh, 1.7.10 version over the 1.64, especially if you're interested in using the world of humanities and ancient civilizations. So check out the next screencast uh, for myself that will be about servers and what makes them different um, as far as that teacher computer.